Hi y'all, we are uh, continuing our bottle calf uh, series here. Uh, today we're out here, um, we're going into a little bit of a rainy, uh, cooler uh, time here. So uh, we're going to be vaccinating our calves. Um, we don't like to do a lot of uh, vaccines and, and medications unless it's absolutely necessary. So uh, the vaccine that we're giving today, they recommend that you give it the first day that they're born. Um, but we kind of held off a little bit. Um, but uh, we feel like now is probably a time that we need to be giving it. It is a, a respiratory vaccine. I have them all mixed up here. These are individual just because you're supposed to give them right when you get them in. Um, so it's... Uh, it's for respiratory issues if they get coughs or, or stuff like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give this. This is a, a two-step vaccine. Uh, this one we give in the nose. And then there's a follow-up vaccination um, that goes uh, subcutaneous or just under the skin. So we will show you a little bit of how we do that. It's not, you know, when they get sick, we will treat them, but we don't like to prophylactically treat them too much. All right, so you can see we have a special tip here. This is what sprays it in the nose. It's one cc in each nostril. Doesn't matter if it runs out as long as you get it in there. Um, and then we just go to the next one and draw up the next one. Pause it. Go All right, ahead. so we're going to pull up the next one here. Like I said, it's just uh, two cc's or two ml's. Get the needle off, put the spray tip on, I know it doesn't feel good buddy, there you go, just a quick job there, pause it again. All right, so uh, we got that done. Um, it's really a, a quick job, especially when you have help. Um, when we had them tied up, it was a lot easier. I could go through and do it myself. Um, and then in two weeks here, we will uh, give the, the booster. So the first one was just, um, just to get them going, and then we'll give a booster shot, and then they'll be good. That one will go into their neck in the sub, subcutaneous tissue right under the skin. Um, and the reason you do that with beef cattle is because you don't want to be going into the muscle uh, that can produce scarring in the muscle, which produces scarring in the meat um, and doesn't give you a, as good of a meat. So that's a little bit of what we're going to be doing here. So yeah, it's just a, a little bit more on uh, the preventative care that we do uh, for our animals. Um, we don't like I said, we don't do too many injections if we don't have to, but at this point, um, with the weather the way it is, with the up and down in the temperature, we decided it's probably best to uh, treat them for any respiratory illness, because once they get um, a respiratory illness, it can really get into their lungs and hurt their growth. So that's why we decided to do that, and we will come back through and do a repeat vaccine to give them a boost um, for that and that will prevent pneumonias and stuff like that. So um, also you can look forward to, we're gonna be talking about uh, weight gain in the, in the calves and we'll pick out one and, and follow it through. Um, so just to give you a sneak peek, this is one of the tools that we use to um, check the growth. Uh, it's an inch to weight calculator, so. So yeah, you can look forward to that and I hope you enjoyed this video please comment um, with any other questions that you might have about the bottle calf series and I'm gonna um, put it into a playlist so that that you can easily find these videos so as always thanks for watching have a great day